<laughs> now then, Ghosts in the Machine. In, uh, in 1919, a wealthy young upper-class woman was obsessed with a relatively new invention, the home movie camera. She started filming family occasions and outings and holidays, and she didn't stop for the next 40 years. The films were all very, very carefully stored away, and of course, they got lost, until now. And what we have is a, a unique record of life for a well-off family in the first half of the 20th century in England, seen unusually through a woman's eyes. There's even a glimpse of Adolf Hitler. toddler that you saw at the very beginning of that montage is now 83 years old. Gemmel Alexander, the nephew of Marjorie Alexander, who, uh, who made those movies. And also here we have social historian Juliet Gardner, who's incredibly excited by the find. Hello, Gemmel. It's a pleasure to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Um, com complicated story of how these things got lost and then were found again, so we'll skip all that. Let's just see you as you were as a baby. I think you'd be, what, about a, a year old here when your aunt was, uh, was filming it? Yes. And, and where was this film? Do you know? Do you recognize the, the area? Would it's it be in the uh, garden of your Brindale, uh, Anglesey. In Anglesey. Oh, that's mm. the, was a holiday home, wasn't yes. it? He used to go for the And was the lady that we just saw? Was she actually? Was she, was she Marjorie? Yes. Yes. Who later adopted you when your own mother very sadly died? Yes. What it's amazing! What's it like looking at eighty-three years old, at your little toddler self? It must be incredible. It's nice to know you were that attractive once. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the ex what the f your family was, um, um, and the family of account in, in, in the accountancy trade, wasn't it? I mean, you, you obviously had a fair amount of money by the standards of those days. Professionals. Yes, yes, exactly. Doctors, yeah. dentists, and And as a family, you, um, you, you used to take, it was quite usual in those days, I think, wasn't it, Juliet, uh, Juliet for um, families to take an interest in Germany and go over to Germany while all the huge political unrest and the rise of Hitler and all, was all happening. Well, Germany was very much a popular holiday resort place. I mean, people liked yeah. the mountains. It was very much more often more popular, actually, than going to somewhere like the Mediterranean. Mm. And, of course, the rise of Hitler, um, people continue to go really right up to the outbreak mm. of the um, Second uh, World War. As we can see here. Because well, you and your dad. The, well, this yeah. is the footage that was shot actually in Nuremberg in 1938, um, at the time of the Nuremberg rally. And you would have been, what, 15 when, when this was shot? Yes, about that. And you found all this incredibly exciting, all this militaristic display in the street. Well, that is something I can remember quite well. Really? Mm. Uh, three things, I think, stood out. There's, there's, that's, oh, there's Hitler. That's, that's Hitler. Hitler there. Yep. In Hitler there going past in a car. Yep. And, of course, his oratory was so outstanding. Could you understand and it? Very little. Mm. But, the, uh, but the impact, but the way he spoke. The impact on the, the people. Yes. Masses and masses of thousands of people there. Mm. And they were all in military uniform. Mm. Mm. But as soon as they paraded, they carried spades. Instead of guns, mm. they were giving that impression yes. that they were peaceful. The Peace Corps, yes. And my father was asked, well, how are you going to manage for the language in Germany? And he said, oh, I'll be right. Hell, Dunkel, and Einmal. A light beer, a dark beer, <laughs> and one more. <laughs> I'd get by with that, and he did. <laughs> now, so one of the, the fast, most fascinating things, I, I mean, the, uh, the kernel of why I think this is so fascinating is it was shot by a woman. And okay, you have your political stuff and your holiday stuff like that, but most of it is at home, um, showing people and family and servants, um, and also the fashions are just yeah. so extraordinary. And what we're going to see now is your governess, Anne-Marie, getting married. Now, your sister was a bridesmaid there, wasn't she? Right. And here she is. This is, this is your governess in that fantastic dress, don't you think, Juliet? Absolutely. It goes right, right down. To the floor. Yes, it's a very uh, discreet wedding dress, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Very understated, yeah. yeah. 
but and she my was sister with her. that's your that's sister, your sister. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah yeah but she i mean you're, she was your governor she played a huge part in your life later she actually saved your life during the war didn't she i would say so yeah what happened well second lieutenant brand new sent out to france mm -hmm. posted to the 51st highland division which was stupid enough to get surrounded at a place called St. Etienne. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't get to my uh, unit. Mm -hmm. And I've heard from the French people around me that the rest of the British and French were going out at Dunkirk with ships clearing them out. Mm -hmm. So there was no future for me at all. I had to wander around. I did have to shoot one German uh, in self-defense. Mm -hmm. And I got to Nantes where Anne-Marie was with her mother and her baby, yes. she pulled me in at the door straight away and Good took me up to the attic and safeguarded there. She said, don't show yourself for goodness because we don't even know what the French people are going to do now mm. if they think the Germans are in charge. And she hid They'll you for... side with them. She hid you for six months, was it? No, she no, no. Uh, about two. About two months. And you about managed to get back months. via a Polish trawler. Yeah. You to, she said one day, I can't see any patrols now, German, if you determined to go, you better go. Yeah. Yeah. I got down to San Nazaire. There was a, a lot of firing at me, but yes. I got on a Polish boat, as you say, yes. and was delivered back to England so that I could join the 8th Army and have a real war for the rest of the well, time. Well, let's finish well, off yes. by just having a look at um, a final piece of footage. This is actually at your aunt's home. Obviously a big, beautiful Edwardian villa on the world there. It's a fancy dress party. Little Bo That's Peep. little Bo Peep there and uh, it just shows and, and later on it shows all the servants as well do you remember much about all that time yes <laughs> you do yes my home yeah. yeah of course you do very familiar well it must have been fantastic when that film which had been missing for 20 years or more f was rescued in the, in the nick of time at a car boot sale the reason we should say very quickly that it had sort of passed out of your hands was because your aunt used to show it on an old projector and it looked terribly crackly and useless and you thought well there's nothing on here of any interest and it, it, it's, it's bad film but in fact it was the projector that was rubbish the film was great um and now you've got it back and you've you've, you've got your whole life back and, and uh, yes i was relative. a traitor at the beginning of the thing because <laughs> i'd been the thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think future. Judith, it's I very exciting find for social historians like you, isn't it? Oh yes, it's a tremendous yeah. find. Because it's everyday life, isn't yeah. it? Um, and it shows the intersection between sort of private life, the family, and you know, public events like the Nuremberg Rally and things like that. Yeah. And what you were saying about women, but of course women are often the family archivists, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. They often keep the family snapbooks. They, they're the ones that take the photographs. They're the ones that stick them in the album. But to actually have this which is moving and living yeah. is wonderful. I agree with you. All Thank right. you both Thank very you both much very indeed. Much. Thank it's you again for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. And after the break